Hi, Scott here from Wicked Reports, and I'm here to tell you what I hope is glaringly obvious, but I increasingly find people still don't understand. And that's a simple concept, which is manage your campaigns and your marketing by return on investment, not cost per click and not cost per lead. When you're looking at cost per click, it's telling you how much the click cost, hence the title cost per click, right? You have no way of knowing if that was worth the money or not. Because if you can't tie a click to revenue, then it could just be someone that was curious about your ad and was not a good fit for your product. It could be some person that just is broke and has no money. Or it could be that they were shown the ad because the ad platform knew it would be uh, likely to click, which has no bearing on whether or not they are likely to be a great customer of yours. So cost per click is something we only look at after we've optimized ROI. The second fallacy is looking at cost per lead. Don't get me wrong, everyone likes cheap leads. It's always a great feeling that you're doing something for your business if you see, hey look, I got a bunch of leads. Furthermore, it's easy to understand. Oh, I got 100 leads, it cost me 1,000 bucks, I've got 10 bucks per lead. And then you start feeling this vague feeling of excitement or hey, I'm doing something good for my business. Well, I'm sorry, but you may or may not. It may be that the leads for your business are gonna cost $100 per lead, but they're gonna spend $5,000 with you once you get them. Or it may be that you have $10 leads and you're lucky that that's all you need to spend to get those leads. But the point is, looking at something cost per lead is also meaningless until you have revenue behind it. If you have revenue and you know, hey, these leads are actually for sure worth $30 per lead, then it's great news that you're getting cost per lead at $10. Guess what, you just won the lottery. You're just gonna make three bucks every lead and you know what you start planning your retirement right now but until you have the information behind revenue it's pointless that's why we're going to focus on managing by return on investment how much did i make what did it cost get it down to the customer level so you can do the arbitrage necessary to manage where am i spending the least amount of money to make the most amount of value and once you get that down you manage your campaigns by roi then we can start focusing on how to get the lead cost down and how to get the click cost down. Until you've proven that where you're doing your marketing fishing is actually getting you customers out of that pond, there's no sense worrying about how much the bait costs.